by Bruce from Safari and we're having a look at uh, Scotty and our 4812 hybrid in this uh, Ford Ranger here. Um, we've got the fridge here, the fridge is running at the moment. We've got the 48 volt batteries underneath. But what we're demonstrating here is the fact that we can have an on-road and an off-road mode for a DC to DC. And right now the power is coming out of the uh, 48 volt batteries into the 12 volt batteries here, into the starter battery. Now there's no a 12 volt battery in the back of this canopy. We've got everything in the canopy here to connect, connected directly to the starter battery. And that starter battery that you can see here is jumping around with loads and we're about to start it up. And then the power at the moment is coming from the 48. So the benefit of this is from an energy management point of view, when this starts up, the alternator doesn't go into full power straight away. Okay, start up Andre. So we start up now, the battery's down at 12.7. There's still power coming in. You see there's still three amps coming in, 12.8, six volts here with the loads on the engine, power steering, everything else. And this won't come on until that reaches 14 and a half volts. So even there now at 14.37 it's reading, 14.38, there's no power going into the 48 volt battery. So as you're driving around town into on-road mode at the moment, uh, there's no load coming out of the DC to DC. And uh, it makes it Euro 6 compliant, fully compliant. Now with the switch here, I'm going to simulate going into an off-road mode or full power mode. When I turn the switch on now, a hey, presto, then suddenly the power coming out of it is winding up. It's really, you can hear the engine under load, the voltage is coming down. Let's just have a look at the power flow. 1.2 kilowatts. It'll fluctuate a bit as it's loaded and unloading the alternator here. But the power coming out here uh, is going to uh, really pull out a, a lot of power in a short period of time to charge this battery. So the battery voltage here you can see is rising, 47.48525558, 5, it's rising where even though we're at 91%. So now when I flick it back into uh, into um, on-road mode, you see the power's coming back now into the batteries. 10 amps is coming back, you can hear there's no load on the engine. So this flick of the switch on and off-road, uh, we can do in one or two ways. We're actually gonna have a switch um, in the actual uh, uh, console here for this particular vehicle, but we can also have it that it automatically comes on over a certain speed as we read from the CAN bus, and that's probably the preferred way to do it. So as we read from the CAN bus and we set a, a particular speed, let's say 30 kilometers an hour, the DC to DC will not come on to full load until you're over that, unless you've got this uh, switch turned on. If you've got the switch turned on like I'm doing now, it'll pull, pull pack, Pull full power out to charge up the 48 volt batteries. Um, this is just, uh, this is actually quite a breakthrough, not just for Australia, but for globally. So total bi-directional, flick the switch here, and I'm going from one mode to the other. So in this mode here, once this gets to 14.5, the current here will reverse, and it'll put a slight amount of power into the battery. Now there could be a load, you've got electric steering, other things in the vehicle. Um, and what we've got on the back here is the Victron Turbo here. You can see we've got a solar controller here as well. We've got Scotty here running. We've got a 3000 watt inverter. We're going to do a walkthrough on how we've done the whole canopy here. It's all quite concealed. So look at this. Right now we've got no load at all coming out of the alternator. So that's going to give the driver of the car here uh, best fuel economy. When they need the power for the 48 volt, uh, then they'll switch this on. And when they switch this on, the power is just going to wind up as you can see here and you can switch it off and you can hear the engine here unloading look at that we're now going really negative there now to bring this battery voltage back up so it's going to be quite dynamic in the way that it operates between the on-road and off-road mode and we can have this triggered by the speed of the vehicle over a certain speed it's uh, technically um, as i've said a few times now uh, quite an exciting breakthrough how good's that